So, hi, this is my talk to, and I'm going to present the same paper. Predator prey interactions as key drivers for the invasion success of a potential neuron toxic C slug. So, the aim is to study whether the predator prey re relationship of the non native C slug and the Southwest Atlantic enhance or reduce the chances of succession for the Invasion introduction. So, uh, you may wonder what is biological invasions. Um, there are four aspects included in the biological invasions, uh, such as such as the biotech resistance, plasticity, uh, novel weapons, and invasion. Inventional meltdown. So um, it's also a very serious uh, environmental threat nowadays, and it is one of the top five direct drivers of change in natural that has been speeding up for past 50 years. Uh, also cause impact in both ecologically and economically. Many uh, it may threaten the human welfare too. So um so this is the sea slug. Uh it is gray side guild sea slug and uh potential neurotoxic. It means that there will be toxin that release that will damage the nerve uh, tissues. And also it it is spreading very rapidly nowadays along the coast of southwestern Atlantic. Uh so these are the hypotheses. Um the first hypothesis is that uh, it can reuse. It can use resources in a variety of habitats at the same time across the invade range, because of its remarkable dietary flexibility. And the hypothesis too is that it lacks of uh, native predators that could limit its expansion or abundance. So the study area is in um, around the circle. And the mean tidal range is 4.13 meters, and the maximum will be 9 meters. Uh, the NUC surface temperature will be 14.3 degrees Celsius, uh, with a minimum 8 degrees Celsius in the winter and maximum 21 degrees Celsius in the summer. Uh, also, the con constant salinity ranging from 33.5 and 33.9 percent. So, uh, we will be also doing the diet composition of the sea slug, which include um, identified the prey source of the sea slug, which uh, the predator will be considered in the previous literature. Uh, also, there will be 10 different, like after reviewing literatures, uh, it's shown that there will be 10 different species as the potential prey and the these slugs will be put in the 10 liters, no, the prey will be put in the 10 liter, uh, 100 liter plastic containers, and it will be, 30% uh, of the waters will be replaced after two to three days, and all of the animal will go through the starvation period. Uh, they will have to um, get used to the environment before starting of the experiment. Uh, also, uh, the stomach content analysis, which to determine the diet com composes, composition, sorry, and it will be 50 of the individuals will be collected for each season. And sorry, I did not delete the RI, but the RI means the stomach fullness index. And for the example uh, effect of local potential predators, uh, it is to evaluate predator prey interactions between the sea slug and other predators. So uh, there will be field exper experiments. Uh, the the sea slug is spoon fed uh, to the to a fish by scuba diving, and there will be records that whether the fish consume, reject, or avoid the sea slug during the experiments. So the result, it's a bit blurry, sorry. Um, so uh, for the diet composition of the sea slug, it prey on at least five, at least five species. Uh, the sea anemones, uh, sorry. The sea anemones, uh, the hydrosaurus, and uh, acidians, and sea slugs. 
So um, presentation intensity and frequency and frequency varied by species. Uh, so you can see that uh, there are different consumption rates, and no species consume at a frequency that match the control food. Uh, yes, you can see uh, the PDC and PPT, which win the predator control and the predator prey trial. It's it's different. There's no like they are not matching. They are not the same. So this is uh the main taxon found in the stomach content of the sea slug. There are thirty one taxa in stomach and nine are algaes. Twenty one are invertebrates and one is vertebrates, which you can see they really eat a lot of invertebrates like cnidarians. So uh for the stomach content analysis, uh for the excesses. It means the number of individuals, and the y-axis means the prey richness. So, um, as you can see, uh, in different seasons, they are almost the same. Uh, except for summer, it's slightly less diverge in the stomach content analysis. So, um, the effect of local Potential predators. So, um, no pr predators consumed the sea slug, and control prey was consumed. Uh, both crab species grabbed the sea slug softly with their claws for a few seconds, but none of the sea slugs were injured. Both predator and prey are in good condition, and this is another field experiment. Like none of the fish consumed. The sea slug, but most of the fish swallowed the slug, but spat it out after after death and avoid them. And all of the fish consumed the control prey, and no slug were injured. Uh, this is the data of what I just said. Um, this is in the aquarium experiment, and this is in the field experiment. And the individuals, a uh, number of individuals, and you, as you can see. The uh, CPC means the control prey consumption. Uh, like most of the, like all of the predator has consumed their control prey, but when they are facing uh, the sea slug, none of them had eaten them. Yes, and these are the species. Uh, these are the two crabs that had grabbed the, the sea slugs and spit it out and avoid them. And this is the number of fish per species that consume rejected, uh, including swallowed or the spinal rejection uh, or avoid, which is uh, not swallowing and carefully inspecting the sea slug. And C means the control fruit and S means the sea slug. So as you can see, no, uh, for the control fruit, most of the fish had consumed the control fruit and for the sea slug, uh, most uh, all of them are rejected and avoid uh, after making contact with the sea slug. So uh, to conclude, uh, the ability to utilize food sources in temporary and geologically diverse contexts strongly supports that the plasticity plasticity concept, indicating that the sea slug can utilize resources even in unfavorable new situation, which means it can adapt to a, a new environment uh, very easily and it can like eat whatever it's inside because it's very, because it's very, uh, thanks to its flexibility in the food consuming. And impacts of the predators can have on the sea slug is limited because um, they refuse to consume and they avoid the sea slug in the experiment, as uh, as I mentioned before, uh, it's limited to the invaded range. Yes, and although there's uh, some, so like at the previous data, you can see that the some of the sea slug, the same species consume, uh, the same thing like cannibalism it was observed, but it was not that usual during the experiment. Uh, this is the end of my presentation. Thank you. Hi. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for your talk. And yes, for, for me, I 
submit three uh, I submit three uh, comments for you. Like the first is your table is rearranged and with lots of images, so I think it's clear uh, it's uh, it's clearer than before. And the second one is. The speed of the talk is suitable for audience this time, so I think it is great for me. And the final, the final is, uh, is reduced so that the slide is cleaner than the talk one. So I think it is a major improvement. Yes. Thank you. Um, thanks for your presentation, and I think that uh, you you end with the. Uh, conclusion that you change it and delete the uh, the other useless info. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, some of the uh, information that is too much for us are deleted, which is very nice. And some picture are edited inside for more easily understanding, and which is also nice. Mm, I forgot what I typed. <laughs> Yes, that's all. So let's thank Artsy. I don't have comments.